I've got 30 gallons of windshield washer fluid and I'm going to put it in the rear tires of my tractor. Tony's Tractor Adventure. Yep, I know it. Rim guard's better. I got a great deal on windshield washer fluid. To make this work at home, you're going to need a bucket. You're going to need some sort of pump, like such. You're going to need a water adapter. And you're going to need a couple of short water hoses. I'll leave a link in the description below to the uh, water adapter and a little pump I've got. One more thing you're going to need. You're going to need a bow stem remover. You're going to jack up the, bit, the rear wheel. And you're going to rotate the valve stem to the up position or the 12 o'clock position. After you get it in the 12 o'clock position, you're going to let the jack down, put all the weight back on the wheel, and you're going to remove your valve stem. In this case, the big valve stem, the big part of the valve stem just came out. You can hold it with your fingers and remove the little valve stem as well, which you'll probably, you may or may not have to do. Next thing you're going to do is make sure your windshield washer or your bucket's full of windshield washer fluid. Looks like our bucket's going to hold about six or seven gallons. Now let the jack down a little bit to let the tire kind of squat. Adapter. Uh, the air water adapter all out of the package. Now it comes, uh, I don't think I paid like $12 or $13 for this, but it comes with the different size adapters you would use. I think this one's going to work the one it come on. It's a little metal deals there. To protect it actually you're kind of in my way a little bit it's hard to re reach that all right i dumped the this part of the hose in and got it full and let it go to the back side now this little pump that i got is absolutely mean so we'll hold it up here and let you see what it does pretty good i'm going to hook this adapter up to my hose and my pump. All right, seems pretty tight. We'll find out in just a split second. I'm gonna turn my pump on and see what happens. Got a little grip, but it's not bad. I've done now is I put the the bigger part of the valve stem. This is a standard valve stem sticking out here and it goes into the larger uh, agriculture type valve stem or industrial type valve stem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull, take my valve stem remover and just pull out the the valve stem out of the standard automotive style. You can see the little valve stem right there. And we're going to have to pop some air in this dude because I did not mean to do that. But I broke the seal around the tire, so now I've caused myself a lot of extra trouble. Let's see if we can get this thing to pop back on the rim. Oh, that's not good. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get a ratchet strap on it. Well, that was a dumb rookie mistake right there that I shouldn't have done. I have changed so many tires. I know better than that. I just didn't see. I didn't realize how stiff the sidewall. Of these uh, little industrial tires were on this tractor. Carl Mike's a really good tractor, so it actually broke the rim, uh, the seal around the rim, loose. So we're hoping we can do. I can take this uh, ratchet strap here and put enough pressure on the center of the tire that it'll cause it to uh, push out. I hope, I hope, 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 because I don't want to have to deal with the alternatives.
Well, I forgot to turn it on, but what I did is I run the strap around the outside and I kind of pulled on the tire because it was leaking around here a little bit. And, and my lovely assistant here, hello, lovely assistant. Hi. Can't see her because it's bright behind her. She pushed the uh, valve to put a little air back in the tire. So now we got the bead set. Uh, we're going to go back at it. So I went ahead and took the, uh, let the air back out. The bead should stay on the uh, rim. And what we're going to do now is go ahead and put this adapter back on. And let it bleed the last little bit of that water out. I have my bleeder here on top. And it sounds like all of the air pressure is just about out. So we'll go ahead and put this water hose adapter on. And then we're going to plug it up and hope it doesn't spurt fluid in my face. There we go. I think this little pump's going to pump out somewhere along the lines of about um, maybe six to seven PSI. Just leaking a little bit. I think I'm going to switch over to a better water hose. I like this clear one because I could see what was going on, but it's obviously working. What I've ended up doing is using this green hose. Even though I can't see through it, that other hose was old and was leaking. Uh, and I run it through to the pump and then I have this little short piece of green hose uh, That comes into the bucket. So I'm gonna fill the bucket back up and let's go back at it So far we probably put in four gallons. I probably spilt. I don't know quart maybe uh, But not very much We'll go ahead and fill this dude full of back up to about six gallons. This little pail We got holds like six or seven gallons all right, we're going to start back up. We'll recap what happened. I went ahead and released the air pressure out of the tire. I let the jack down to kind of compress the tire, but the Carlisle uh, tractor tires with this, this bead protector here are so stiff on the sidewalls that it broke the bead loose from the tire. So that's not a good thing. I was able to put a ratchet strap around it while my wife put air in the tire and caused it to air back up. So I've got my bead back in place. But if you guys have these Carlisles, I believe they're called, uh, let's see, Traction or Track Chief is what they're called, Track Chief. They have a really, really heavy duty, thick uh, sidewall and it has this rim, uh, rim guard uh, protection around it. So anyway, let's move on. Uh, I have got the pump set up. I went ahead and switched to the green hoses because the other one was leaking so bad. And let's see what will happen here. push that little button you can see the pressure come out or the fluid come out so now we're just going to let it basically fill up with fluid and as it fills up with fluid it will compress the air at the top so ever so often we'll turn the pump off push this button and bleed off the air pressure making it easier on the pump and i'm watching the I'm watching the pressure, I mean the fluid go down in the container, it's pretty obvious that it's going down pretty fast. So that means it's compressing the air here inside the tire. As the, as the fluid level comes up, this air is compressing. So every so often we're going to stop and call, let, let some of the air pressure out at the top. Make sure you keep your valve stem at the top of the, of the tire. I, I did no prior homework to see how much this would hold. Uh, I literally am just winging it. Right, I'm going to test it real quick. See where we're at. Uh oh, we're full now. Alright, so I'm full. That means I'm going, I got my valve stem right here. And I'm going to lose some fluid. There's no way around it. But what I'm going to do is try to take this off. Put it in it. You know what? It don't want to come off. Alright, here we go. I'm going to this in my face. Come on! Alright. Let's 
Well, I didn't succeed. I got it all in my face. All right, there we go. And that tire is full, and my windshields are clean. Alright, I have the back tire loaded on the right side. I'm going to do the other side. It's going to be exactly the same thing except I learned the lesson that I'm not going to set the weight down and break that bead loose. I'm just going to let the air out and then fill it back up with washer fluid and go from there. Alright, what I've done is I'm going to loosen this up. I've got fluid coming out of it um, very quickly, the best I can to unscrew this not lose too much foot. And I'll get my valve stem ready. See if I can do this without spraying it all on my face. Not, not too much, but I got my safety glasses on. Hey, I appreciate you watching our channel. If you like what we do, hit that thumbs up. Also, hit the subscribe button and the little bell. That little bell icon will let you know that we have done something new. God bless and have a great day.